protesting following a presentation about cats. <laughs> it's unfair, he should have been the last person <laughs> in the line. This is a boring talk compared to that. Terraform, does anyone know what Terraform is? Woo! Yeah, all right. Um, I'm giving a presentation on Terraform, I lied to you. It has nothing to do with geospatial. But I did use it in a geospatial project. Okay. Um, the, the, re the reason I wanted to present on this is I think Terraform is a really good entry point for people who know a little bit about programming and development and want to get into some scaled processing, um, firing up an EC2 and shutting it down and doing it in a prog programmatic way. Oh, these are terrible slides. I'm sorry. Um, there's nothing on there to see. Uh, I'm going to use AWS as an example. I'm not an expert in this. I'm still learning it. I feel like the world is learning it. That, that's why I feel like I can kind of stand up here and talk to you. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, and this is just a trans, uh, translation of a uh, makefile method that I had used. What is Terraform? They give the worst possible explanation of what Terraform actually is. That's the first line, infrastructure automation, blah, blah, blah. It makes no sense to me, and I really had to look at it. Basically, you write a few scripts, you hit some buttons on your computer, and then it'll go off, fire off your EC2, um, and then it'll accept your credentials if you need credentials, and then you can set a process off and running, and then you can have a command at the end um, called Terraform Destroy, and it shuts the whole thing down. And it kind of gives you a peace of mind that if you're running a really expensive machine, that you're only going to run that machine for the time you need it, and it's going to shut down, so when you go to bed and it runs over and maybe finishes at 3 o'clock in the morning, you're not spending the extra $10 on that really expensive machine. Uh, I think I explained why it's helpful, um, but I think Terraform has a much clearer method. Um, of course, people are going to be really comfortable with using the AWS GUI, um, and that's fine. Um, I like to do everything in a programmatic way, not because I think I'm special, but I can't remember a damn thing of what I do, and I always have to write it down, and scripting is the best possible way to do it. Uh, you write a doc, you write a script, you hit go, it runs. Uh, and the rest of it is already on there. Oh, code, who cares about code? The reason I put this up here is that um, I just wanted to sh give an example of how easy a document to launch your Terraform um, uh, process is. There's this Terraform main.tf. Uh, it says, what kind of uh, EC2 do you want? Um, what uh, size do you want? What are your security groups and all this stuff? You just put that in, you put it in a little folder on your machine, and then you write your script. This is a really basic bash script that I was running. Most important lines, which you cannot likely read on any of these screens, um, but the most important lines on there are Terraform init, Terraform apply, which just um, gets everything set up, uh, Terraform validate, um, and this goes out, sets up your EC2. The rest of the lines under there are just things that I am sending to the EC2 to run, and then I have a line in there that says bash run index, and I just send that process out, do some stuff, blah, 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 and then when it's done, Terraform destroy, auto approve, and it's done. I still protest following a cat <laughs> presentation.